Howdy, I'm Matt, and this is either going to go really well, or it's not going to go really well. Right, let me just set the uh, scenario here. Is that I'm working on the uh, Mini Skywalker, and I've been and made a ID card bottom plate, because remember, we have the elastic bands coming over the top, uh, and this foam is very weak, so uh, putting a piece of ID card on there, I've just cut it out and used a ruler, etc, etc. Anyway, uh, the front piece is that this is my cutting plan and I'm going to post this whether this goes right or wrong so you can learn from my uh, experience is that uh, what I've done is that I've been and measured up a piece of uh, ID card so you can buy these ID cards uh, for like 10 quid for 100 or something like that uh, off eBay uh, and my plan is, my cutting plan is that I want to bend this around the leading edge so that I end up with some uh, plastic coming up onto this leading edge and it stands a chance of surviving. Now the thing is, is that I'm pretty sure that the plastic which this stuff is made from is, ta-da-da, -da, uh, a thermoplastic as in that we can torch it uh, and we can bend it and then it will remember where it's been, it will set where it's, you know what I mean, anyway. So let's just prove this point, so we get the old blowtorch going, well got to need to go careful with that. And look, there we go, it's got some, ah, <laughs> toasty, <laughs> oh, it, wow, okay, so let me just put this in my hand, so that has set rigid, so there we go, now you'll see my little boo-boo is in there, we have some brown stuff and I, I kind of burnt it, <laughs> but, it did absorb the heat very, very quickly, and it has now gone back, and it is now rigid. This is brilliant. So that is exactly what I wanted, and the thing is, is that I have kind of marked out roughly where I want it to be warm to, so this is going to be fun. I, I, I've just proven it on a small scale, whether it works. Whether it works in, the, in a bigger version, nobody knows, but what I did just learn is that I need to go... Uh, I do get a little bit of playtime with this, um, but I can't heat it up too much because uh, it ended up burning the plastic. And I don't actually, if I turn that over that way, yeah, what am I talking about? Hang on, I'm going to put it in like that. So I'm going to put it in like that and bend it around that way. So yeah, I want to heat it up on that side. So I was just working my head. So if I do burn it, I will... Um, I can't, oh, I, I can see there's a ridge. I can see, and I can smell it as well. Right, I, I can see there's a ridge. Oh, it's quite flexible. Screw it, I'm going for it. I've gone for it. Right. Golden, look at that! That works so well! Brilliant! Oh, I've never tried that with the ID cards before. But, mm, there's a, still a lot of heat in this a second. <sighs> Just blowing on it. Uh, and that... It uh, worked amazingly well. Thank goodness I don't have to post a boo boo video. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> but there we go. Look. Now you can see what I was meaning uh, about uh, the leading edge. Is that this is now moulded in quite nicely, if I'm honest. In fact, should we should we push push our luck a bit? I tell you what. What we're going to do. I'm just going to warm up this top edge. So let's see if it picks up the. Going really really careful. Really, really keep keeping that heat moving all the time then. Get that back in there. And I'm so glad that I made that key. Oh, look, yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't know that you could do that so easily with the ID cards. Can you see? Just there, it's just been and picked up the ridge. Oh, wow. Right, well, I'm super impressed. I, I had a hunch that we could do that. And that has worked out superbly well like better than what I expected. So all I'm now going to do is pick it back off again, uh, find a sanding pad, I'm just going to put a little bit of a, a key in there. Maybe uh, there's a tip for you, maybe you should have sanded it beforehand uh, in there. And then on here, give the foam a little bit of a sand. I'm just going to present that up so I don't end up sanding in places where I shouldn't be sanding. Yeah, just take a visual key of that and then what I think what I'm going to do now is just get that yoohoo pour 
and put a load in there like so I don't know if you can see that I'm just putting a ton of it in there and let's get that done up and then what I'm going to do is just push it round oh that's the good propeller was the Macca propeller oh there you go and that's what you can do with the uh, clockwise propellers are those in your packs and you know when you buy the quad ones and you end up not flying quads anymore and you end up with a load of propellers is that if you use the clockwise ones the ones which you wouldn't normally use in an aeroplane uh, or on a fixed wing model uh, you can use them as props better uh, as glue spreaders so there we go that's in there and just going to get this lined up brilliant uh, and then all, all I'm going to do for this one is that I can't really use it as a contact adhesive because it's what should we call it, it it would contact and then adhesive itself uh, to the to the foam if I left it and did it as normal. So I'm just going to put a bit of tape over the top, like so, and pull that in tight. Oh, that came out so well, so well. Yeah, most impressed with that. Now, I have noticed it's not that tacky down here at the bottom. So what am I going to do? Put some tape on there just to pull it backwards on both sides and i think i've got some baby little clamps yes oh there you go they're all in there the instructions with the old world thing uh, 36 uh 46 sorry and i'm just going to put some clamps on the end Ooh. whoa hello <laughs> he didn't want to clamp did he put those up a bit further where's the other one there we go i'll put that back a bit further this time there we go, and that should hold it down. So, happy days, that works. Um, yeah, ID cards. I've got a little pa pack of them down here. I literally had a hundred of them, uh, and I've still got a fair few left. Uh, like I said, they're like a 10 quid or ish uh, off eBay, Amazon, etc., etc. Uh, and for modeling, uh, they have just come in so useful, to be honest. Uh, one of my main uses for these is not, it's actually been glue spreaders because you can go in here and just go give it a quick score with a knife and then bend it like so and now you've got a tiny little spreader which is absolutely super useful uh, it's, well, unless you've got a propeller kicking around that's my normal uses for them but that said where anywhere you need an extra bit of rigidity uh, they do work really really well and I can just see some glue have just squirted out the side that's always a good sign um, but in this case, I'm using it as a lead and edge protector because we will have elastic bands coming over the top of here and that foam won't last at all. Now, of course, if you were doing this on a bigger model, you could have used the ID card the other way around. If you don't have an ID card, perhaps, I mean perhaps, a yogurt pot would do the same thing. Now, the thing is, is that this plastic is quite thick. Uh, and if you were to put a blowtorch on a very thin piece of yogurt pot, you would want to warm it up very, very, more, even more gingerly than what I just did with that. But I was actually surprised. The first one I did screw up and I did burn it. That's always a good idea to test first. Uh, so it was a little bit more gingerly with the second time around. And that has worked fantastically well. So I'm gonna put this down as a simple mod to the Mini Skywalker, uh, which can also be ported to other models as you see fit. So, happy days! It's a thumbs up, not a thumbs down. It did work. So, for myself, Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this episode, and I'll see you again shortly. Cheerios!